What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. No Lakers at today. Um, we in our Golden State Warriors at our FHM shirt. You know the thing. You know Warriors with for life. But we did homeless for a couple of days and did a catch a smuddy yard. So we couldn't get free. Change up the outfit, them. We yeah, people are custom. We are doing it. Lakers at. We are doing We have all different team at them. You know? But Warriors are my team. You understand? Know yeah. So, um, yeah, everybody, you know, big respect. We got everybody in there. You know, today I want them um, serious kind of review there. We have a couple of songs well. The last song I'm going to review is Shenzia and Megan the Stallion song. So, you can share the live, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know what I mean? Chef up now, be quiet. You're not talking about it. Sense. Zine? Yes, yeah, so, get where I get ready. You know the review is to show us there already. Um, turn on the ring light, yeah? So, you can see me better. Can I see me better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, right there. And, um, we ready to go. All right, so, we have a whole discussion for you. You know the hot topic already. Megan the Stallion, Shensia song. Me deliberately, the amount of people who send it, I mean, I listen it. Come on, my reaction for be as true as possible and as honest as possible and as fair as possible. So when I start the review show with, with, with that song, we're gonna start the review show with a song by Shanai Malaka. See? Shanai Malakai. Malaka, yeah. Shanai Malika. Zin, Tony, I pick up yourself. Um, this is the first song we review. You know the review show I got already. If you like a song, you put fire emoji, you put thumbs up, put look a gunshot emoji, you put the green gun if you want. If you don't like it, Zin, you type the word rubbish. If you think the song not good none at all, just type the word rubbish. Zin, first song. Yo! Style of J! Oh, no! Yo, that dog plate, they lit. England, what's good? London, what's good? Birmingham, what's good? Ricky Chu, what's good? Woolly, what's good? Clark's done Woolly, what's good? Yo, rich and famous Fabian, what's good? Rich and famous Winston, what's good? Rich and famous Berries, what's good? Squidly, what's good? Andrew Fresh, what's good? Lizard, what's good? Grandfather Gappy, what's good? Roddy Harry, what's good, fam? Raga Rugi, what's good, fam? Shout out to everybody in England, you know. All my fam all over England, you know what I mean? Raheem Sterling, what's good, fam? Stammer Dog, what's good? Sunny Spoon, what's good? All my Birmingham family, Birmingham Alliance, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? What's good for my being in England soon? Soon as these motherfuckers free me up on this court case, I'll be in fucking England, mate. I tell you. Can't wait to see my people, fam. Bloody hell. Need to do a cup of tea or something, fam. That dog was crazy, fam. Enough respect, style of G. Anyway. It's the moment. We have all been waiting for Big Up Canada family, Steeny, Mystic Soul, Chip Locus, you don't know I got Chippy Dan, Zimmy. Big Up the whole Buckle Pan Buckle family, you know I'm a team. Tall P, Big Up Yourself, Town Dan, Big Up Yourself, Edmonton family, we don't have to call a name because you know when I'm too chatty, you know the badness go. Zimmy, I say, Shards Temper, Brooklyn, 90s. Jungle is freedom is a must. Happy loss, black man, the whole team. 
I want to tell you, we like, hey, yo, don't me, hey, Machiavelli, them girl love you, them belly you swell it. <laughs> yo, Father Rev, you don't know the thing, oh, I'm a G, I'm a daddy, I'm a Dan, it's going to the whole team, you know it, come. You see what I say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 90 is life. Friend, big up yourself, you know the thing, go try the whole team. You see? Mm -hmm. Here we go now. From the day before yesterday, my phone has been bombarded. Zine. My phone has been bombarded with messages, with people asking my opinion. People want to know what I think about this song, um, what I have to say. But I'm going to do it in the process of which I do my business because nothing changes. I wasn't going to say anything about the song. I wasn't going to listen to the song until I do it on the review show. So I am going to review this song now. This song is a big collaboration. Without me hearing this song, it is a big collaboration because it's Shensia, one of the most talk about artists from Jamaica, dancehall artist, and Megan Thee Stallion, one of the biggest American artists right now. So it is only right that the man with the voice of the people, from the people, for the people, would review this song, right? If you do not like the song, the rules remain the same. If you like the song, you put fire emoji. If you do not like the song, you type the word rubbish. If you love the song, you put up fire emoji, you put up the thumbs up, you put up the, the gunshot emoji, you put up the green gun then. If you do not like the song, type the song rubbish or put up the rubbish pan. See? This is Shensia Ramish Entertainment alongside Megan Thee Stallion. Let's go. Shenzhou, you have a license gun? You're not afraid. So, 
wala <laughs> I wonder if Shensia. All right, first things first. Let me, let, me, let me say this. I am not surprised. See? First things first, I am not surprised. Because if you remember, months ago, I tell you, say, she is going to get the biggest look out of dance hall. Because of the company where she in. You see that Kanye West launch the way she go with SCR beside Marilyn Manson, I wear my name, and all of these high level giants in the music. This and no. What what really surprised me is how can you get your big looks with these brand artists and do something like this? My granny and my mother used to have a thing where say, do not pay dear if you go in an eye company. Raymond Williams, I can't tell me nothing. The song, in terms of the track, the track is solid, the, the, the rhythm solid me like or the bass a beat me never like say she use the calypso melody we are dance all people me could, me could analyze the song first zine me could analyze the song first the beat is a fully hip hop beat zine so it's not really reflecting dance all it's a hip hop beat zine she used one calypso melody which is not dancehall either zin we our melodies are used the most in hip-hop world jamaican melody used the most are we give hip-hop artists the most it when them sample we think them see tori lanes are one of the biggest thing and everyone falls in love sometime melody in use and we can name one billion more song. So, right there, song where she used the Calypso melody for sample is a failure to me. See? Secondly, the track is fully hip hop. The rhythm itself is fully a hip hop rhythm. Zin, if me go base it on our dancehall culture thing, it not do nothing for it. Because the rhythm, rhythm is very good though. The rhythm is solid, but it reflects nothing about us. It's a hip hop rhythm that. Then the melody for the chorus is a is a calypso melody. So basically, she sample the calypso song. That alone is damaging to our team. See? Now, when we go, the content of the song, meaning the lyrical content, from my scope, is utter rubbish. Me not like nothing where the song I say. Me not like nothing where the song I say. This, uh, I shine a song, the eating song going at the category of the two worst songs in a dancehall history for me i don't know who else like it but for me are the two worst song them there in a dancehall history well in truth that in fact them on a dancehall them two songs in a dancehall so are the two worst song were ever done by dancehall artists to me based on lyrical content and message and where the song I go. See? Yes, it's worse than Amari Nika mash up my life. Because the message in this is not good. You understand what I say? When I say based on lyrics and message, are the two worst song them the ever. And then number three, a gauge song 
dung in your throat. The three worst songs them the in a dance hall history for me. Based upon what dance hall stand for, where we culture permit and where we are dealing are the worst song them there. The top three worst song ever in a dance hall. Dashensi and Megan Thee Stallion here. Aishana, Ed Sheeran song, and Gage down in them throat. Three worst song me ever hear in a dance hall history. Okay? See? So, understand me, I say, if there's a hip hop artist, and a hip hop song, it would have probably alright in the hip hop world. Cause not alright in my world ever. Cause you know I'm in a stand for that something there. And dance hall does not stand for that something. No matter how much artists want lick crutches or how much um how much man want to eat front. Zin or how much man want to eat front or whatever. It just not gonna get accepted. It not gonna become the thing that you can come out and just say it and do it and oh we are okay. No, especially as an entertainer, it will not fly. You understand what I say? It not gonna work. As long as a dancer, as long as you represent dancer, we not gonna accept your singer. You could have eat crutches still a chew dry out. It not gonna be accepted. You understand? But you now understand. You can't say the song was not targeted for Jamaica. You are a dancehall artist. Shen says not a hip hop artist. So whether whether the song will have a hip hop fusion to it or what, it I got directed to Jamaican because you are a dancehall product. You understand what I'm saying? Then here you are. I'm not going to agree with you now. Here we are going to do. That's it for the review show today. Meet me over my Instagram. We are going to discuss it over my Instagram now. We could go over my Instagram. My Instagram name, footerhype underscore Gellis Wednesday. Meet me over the Instagram. We'll finish that one. <laughs>